my name is Dana up from the Stella Farmhouse and I'm coming to you from the woods of Northern Illinois from my cozy farmhouse sunroom and today I'm actually going to hop out of the sunroom, head to the living room and we are going to make over my yarn hutch for fall. Today I thought it would be a really high time for me to clean my hutch because I really need to dust and switch out my summer yarns and kind of bring in my fall and winter yarns. So I wanted to take you guys along with me and kind of share with you how I do that. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out. I'm going to dust and clean and shake yarn out that got dusty. And then I'm going to kind of put things back together a little more strategically about what I'm going to use for fall and winter. Now one thing I'm going to change this year that I haven't really done before is I'm going to try to store working projects like whips in my yarn hutch where I can just grab them but I'm keep them in pretty baskets so that I can still enjoy that it looks pretty and nice and not like yarns taking over and spilling out all over. So that's one change I'm going to do this year. Um, I do usually keep baskets like this of my yarn all throughout my house of projects that I'm working on, but I don't only work on one project at a time. And sometimes it's more than three projects. Sometimes it's more like six. And I run out of space up high that I can set those baskets to keep them away from small kids. I have four kids under six, and so I don't want them just grabbing my yarn or my projects, pulling them off the needles, or just like getting into my needles or the project bags. Um, I don't want them to get into my scissors, anything like that. So this time I'm going to kind of make it functional as well as pretty. So let's go. Um, Let's go get cleaned and then we're going to decorate for fall. So there's going to be the cleaning, the work, and then we're going to kind of just have some fun with it. So to start out my project, I decided to just take everything out and give it a good dusting and get it back to its bare bones and just figure out how I wanted to decorate for fall this year. So if you have a shelf or a hutch or a bin of yarn, I encourage you to go through it and just give it a little fall refresh along with me because it's always better to clean with a friend. I actually got the idea to keep baskets of my whips because I've been teaching loom knitting to my daughters and they've been storing it to keep it away from their younger brother and sister. They've been storing it in baskets in the yarn hutch. And so I thought, you know what, that's actually a really good way to use the space, but also make it pretty. Instead of yarn that I don't ever use, even though it's pretty yarn, I really want to dedicate it this season to the things that I'm working on or have kind of in my to-be-knit list next. I was actually really surprised with how much dust we had. It was more than I thought it was going to be. And I know that we have the ceiling fan running all summer long, and so it kind of just floats the dust from one surface to the other, but it was still very satisfying to get that all clean. When I'm decorating, I kind of just start with the bare bones of the anchor pieces, I guess, and in this case it was going to be baskets. So a lot of these I got from Goodwill for just a couple dollars, and some of them I already had. They were either from Amazon or just things I had picked up at garage sales, and so I'm kind of just playing around with how I want it to actually look. But I do know this plant needs to stay here because it is thriving and I don't want to move it. <laughs> so I decided I don't really want the yarn to be 
displayed, like I had the baskets turn on their sides at first. I don't want the skeins to be displayed like that right now. I kind of want the baskets to really draw all the attention. I love all their textures and I feel like it's a really good autumn color with all the brown and natural so I'm kind of just playing around with what shapes work where without it looking too symmetrical, too matchy-matchy. And so I kind of had to play around with it for quite a while before I got it exactly how I think I wanted the baskets to go. So I did end up adding a few books back in. I'd like to add some knitting books to my book collection, but you know, it's it's the basics. I have some a lot of cable knitting books and pattern books. And I'm really excited about adding this yarn. I just got it at a yarn sale at our local yarn shop and so it's making me excited and I feel like that's the yarn that I want to have on display. The stuff that I just got and I know exactly what I plan to use it for and it's just going to give me that inspiration. Instead of it just being beautiful yarn to look at, it's going to hopefully inspire me to work through some of those whips. So I don't usually light candles in the yarn hutch full of baskets and yarn, but I really do like the look of it. And when I do want to light the candles, I pull them out. And so one thing you'll notice I did is I closed the door to kind of make sure it was centered once the yarn hutch doors are actually closed because obviously most times it's going to be closed. So I want it to look sort of centered on that and purposeful instead of decorating it with all the doors open and then I close the doors and it doesn't really fit in the frame. So the candle sat kind of short. I wanted to stack some books just to give it a little bit of height. And one thing I do is I will pull the labels down on my skeins that are going to poke out. That way I have all the information of the yarn, but it doesn't really show through as much. And then this is Natalie's uh, loom knitting project. She's making a blanket that she started with my mom and we are actually working on finishing it together. So I really like doing this process. It just kind of lets me be creative and figure out what's going to fit where and what I like where. And I do like the baskets better than this kind of modern industrial basket. I'm still keeping them. I moved them up to the girls closet and it's storing some of the bigger bulkier toys but I just felt like I wanted something a little more homey and baskets kind of just fit the bill for that. And I love these candles. These are from Trader Joe's. It's the Honeycrisp Apple and Vanilla Pumpkin ones. But they're super short, so again, I'm putting them up on top of a stack of books to kind of give it a little bit of height. Okay, I am adjusting some fake garland and some baby's breath that's all dried out. I've had the baby's breath in here for a couple years now, but I like it and I feel like it just adds some texture without it being too bright. And that basket I added at the end is my like most current whips basket. And can you believe I only had one knit pumpkin that wasn't being used elsewhere so I thought that needed to come and join the hutch. So again, I'm checking to make sure each section is kind of framed and it's not a main thing hidden right behind um, like a post or a doorknob. And then I can kind of see everything I wanted to have showing. Okay, and to make it extra cozy, I definitely had to add some fairy lights. So that was a trick getting it to stay up there and not just fall back behind the hutch and actually have it be showing but it looks really cute and cozy 
and just adds that little bit of extra twinkle and charm to the yarn hutch. <laughs> I love how I'm storing my whips here. I can really easily grab the basket and take it to a different room or just pick out one thing that I'm gonna work on right in my blue chair, which is where I like to sit anyway. So it keeps it away from little fingers and curious toddlers, but it's really simple to add still. It doesn't feel like I have to go searching for a project. I hope you guys liked my uh transformation it was um it was needed oh my gosh the dust is it's gross um if you think the tops of your fans if you have like ceiling fans if you think the tops of your fans get dusty throughout a whole season like summertime check your yarn shells because they might not be okay <laughs> because that was super gross and it gets on your yarn too so give them a good shake i hope you're inspired to go clean out your However you store your yarn, uh, switch out your yarn that you're going to be using for the upcoming season. And um, yeah, I hope it was inspiring and fun to hang out and see how someone else does it and get some ideas for your own space. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.